The most recent state data shows Connecticut's nursing homes logged five infections and two deaths. That's major progress considering nursing homes accounted for 62% of the total COVID deaths in Connecticut, especially when you take a look at this curve, showing cases climbing nationally. Deaths are also ticking up across the country. How the cases in the community are surging in other states, um, and we see how the community prevalence then gets carried into, into the nursing homes. Fox 61 looked into how the state battled back COVID. It's called point prevalence testing. Back in May, the state tested 2,117 nursing home residents at 33 homes across the state. Of the 2,117 residents, 28% tested positive for COVID, but 88% of them didn't show any symptoms, and only 12% of them showed symptoms within 14 days. The prevalence of the asymptomatic carrier. We just didn't realize that early on in the in the pandemic, how many people were actually carrying the virus without any symptoms. Right now, Connecticut is conducting what's called surveillance testing. Staff get tested once a week. If a positive case is found, all staff and residents are tested weekly until two weeks go by without any positive cases. Data from the American Healthcare Association and National Center for Assisted Living shows nursing homes are experiencing delays of more than five days to get results. But Connecticut is doing better there too. The state has made arrangements with four or five different labs that are located right within Connecticut. And so they're not seeing the pressure that the other labs throughout the country are seeing with the surge in the rest of the country. So we're able to get the uh, lab results, um, the testing results back within 24, 48 hours. One area where Connecticut can still improve is personal protective equipment. 20% of Connecticut's nursing homes are still without a one week supply of N95 masks. Now, next week, the independent firm that the state hired, Mathematica Policy Research, is expected to submit their initial results into a study on how the state's nursing homes responded to the COVID crisis. Their final report is expected in September. For the Fox 61 News, I'm Matt Karen. Now, thank you.